Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Custom Gamer. Today we're going to be having a look at Half-Life 2 Episode 2 modification called Retaliation by Adrian L. And uh, this is going to be a bit of a bittersweet playthrough because um, this was a mod I've been looking forward to for ages. It looked fantastic from all the screenshots and media I'd seen of it. And uh, the author contacted me uh, about a week ago telling me that he'd lost all of the source data in a uh, a virus and uh, you know all this horrible stuff and uh, he only had certain parts of the mod like the compiled levels and whatnot left so he sent what he had to me to play through and uh, th there's there's a there's a fair amount here you know you can play through a fair amount of levels and get an idea of what the mod was going to be so we're going to play through it but just keep in mind that um it's still not exactly finished, I would say call it in an early beta state, you could probably say. But yeah, it's just a really sad story because what is here is actually really high quality. I really enjoyed my playthrough of it the first time. So, let's have a look, shall we? Let's get going. Alright. Priority alert. Nova Prospect Exigen Breach. Perimeter communication nope. set to zero. Internal stabilization screen. Deploy sterilizers. In suspected infection block A5. Yeah, so the storyline is that you're a prisoner at Nova Prospect. Looks like it's around about the time that Gordon Freeman is passing through, causing all kinds of mayhem. Which allows us to escape. You'll notice it's another prison map, and you know how much I love the prison maps from my playthrough of Union a couple of days ago. And the author's got the same kind of eye for detail with the lighting, like he's, he's got these spotlights which kind of illuminate whole areas with these big shadows. It's such a great effect. Okay, can we use this? No. And this, this first map in the mod is just full of atmosphere. It's really, really well done. through here. Oh dear, more soldiers. Alright, let's see here. just feels very barren here. I mean, I love the lighting here, just this one light in the corner which just illuminates everything. Makes everything feel very lonely in this first map. I think it's really, really well done. Nope. Can we get in here? Oh. Must be something blocking the door. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like there's much in there anyway. Let's continue. Alert. Non standard exigent activity detected. Execute containment procedure and report. Can't go in there. This wrong this room seems a bit poxy compared to everything else. Contact log in block B2. Deploy. Mm. Reinforce. Intercept. But again, I don't want to moan too much about the problems in here because it was never obviously never meant to be released in this state. 
So uh, I think I'm just going to focus on the things I really like about the mod during this playthrough. ambience here. Oh, completely forgotten about that. <laughs> Again, with just a single light source illuminating the surroundings. Looks really nice. Big fan of that. I haven't got a suit yet, and this will be a surprise when you see it. I won't spoil it for you guys just yet, anyway. That's where we just were. Slowly going to hell. <laughs> Just gonna try and find a way through without getting ourselves killed. It is quite dark up here when you don't have a flashlight. <laughs> stuff. Let's continue. Ta-da! That's right. Even get a blue torch. <laughs> I think this is the one Combine Soldier we haven't been able to play as just yet. We've been a Combine Soldier, we've been a Metro Cop, in all these different Half-Life mods. I don't think we've ever been able to be an Elite one. So how do we get in there? Notice it last time. Oh, that's going to really annoy me now. <laughs> Maybe I have to push this off. Oh, that ain't going to work. Maybe you have to come back later once you've got a weapon or something. So the atmosphere in this beginning part of the mod is just so intense, it's 
Really well done. I'm just waiting for something awful to happen. <laughs> just all this carnage everywhere. Oh, there it is. I'm just gonna run as I have no weapons. <laughs> Yeah, I think I need a crowbar or something to get through that. Here we go. Alright, now we're in business. open the door and get in there. Okay. Uh oh. Notice that all the guns have new sounds and new animations. I'm not quite sold on it, I mean, the um, the SMG seems to take a lot longer to reload, which kind of messes me up a bit. You get used to it after a while, but when I've been using the SMG for, what is it, like six years now, you just kind of get used to how it works. there we can get since I remember how to get up there there we are Sentry guns. Oh, there you are. Shot. Now we can go down, can't we? Get our things. barrels here, I guess. Oh. 
<laughs> that could have gone a bit better. I believe that opened the door at the bottom, just below me now. Yeah, down there. Let's go. Yeah, so that's the first combat area you see. This is quite nice. I like the way it kind of unfolds as you walk through it. Get some different combat experiences. Would have been cool to perhaps have some combine repel in through the roof here. That would have been pretty cool. This looks a bit dodgy. There we go. Perhaps a bit dark here. <laughs> I heard that. I remember this bit. Quite unforgiving. stuff. If anything, I'd say there's too many of these little side rooms all over the place. Me being the explorer, I just have to check them all, even though it takes forever. 